Hi everyone! So you might notice that my hair is different than what you're used to. Um, I got it done on Saturday and I absolutely love it. I was so tired of that weird like mousy brown color that I had. So um, I feel pretty. Oh so pretty. So um, in the spirit of feeling pretty um, I thought I would share with you some of my favorite um, beauty products. So, um, the first one is actually two different shampoos and conditioner. One is kind of a high end and one is kind of a medium end. <laughs> um, the first one is Redken All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, as you can tell, I color my hair a lot <laughs> and my hair gets really damaged and this stuff repairs it. it like it takes all the damage and it just it makes my hair super soft so I really love that stuff um, the only downside is it's a little expensive um, but it, it really is good stuff um, and then the herbal essences honey I'm strong um, this is actually pretty comparable to the Redken all soft um, and it's quite a bit cheaper um, so I really, I like this shampoo and conditioner. I kind of alternate between my shampoos and conditioners. I don't use the same one all the time. I've always got like two or three different kinds of shampoos in the shower at the same time, which Bobby just absolutely loves. Um, so sticking with hair, um, my favorite, absolute favorite leave-in product is made by Marrakesh. And I like the Dreamsicle. Um, scent. I almost said flavor. Scent. This is pretty much like all natural or mostly natural. Um, no animal testing. No animal ingredients. Paraben free, petroleum free, THC free. And they mentioned that because it has hemp and argan oils in it. This stuff again transforms my hair. It makes it so soft. It makes it so so easy to come through when it's wet, which is usually a chore. Um, and on days when I don't shampoo, because like I said, I do have um, damaged hair from coloring it, so I don't shampoo my hair every day. It would be just a wreck. So this is my saving grace. It's made by got to be and it's dry shampoo, and it's a lifesaver especially when you're running late in the morning and you just spritz this on your hair see and you're good to go and what is next let's see this stuff St. Ives apricot scrub this stuff is a classic I've been using this for quite a few years and then I discovered that they make a, a, a version called timeless skin which is like perfect for me because I'm getting older and so this has um what you call it AHA's alpha hydroxy acid that's what it stands for which is a good um, anti-aging acid so this stuff I will probably use forever and ever because I love it and it's um I wouldn't say it's cheap but it's very reasonably priced like this is probably four or five dollars so I guess that's fairly cheap especially considering how much like a lot of things cost these days that really made me sound old didn't it moving on <laughs> um, so after I wash my face this is my favorite um, moisturizer it has SPF 15 and this is an anti-wrinkle sensitive skin from Eucerin. Um, it really soaks in. It doesn't feel greasy. Um, and it has sunscreen in it, which is really important for me because, <clears throat> as you can tell, I'm a little pale, <laughs> uh, which means I'm very susceptible to um, sunburn and cancer, I guess. Um, so sunscreen is 
super important for me. Um, and so that was Eucerin Brown. This is Neutrogena. This is my favorite all over sunscreen. And this one is SPF 100 because I don't play around. If I'm going to use sunscreen, I'm going to use sunscreen. And this stuff is awesome because, like it says, it's dry touch. It totally is not greasy at all. It absorbs into your skin. So you don't have that weird, funky, greasy feeling. This stuff is awesome socks. So, these Pond's Face Wipes. I have been using these for, God, at least 15 years, probably longer than that. Probably like 17 years. These are a godsend. And I know that most, um, you know, experts, most dermatologists will tell you that, you know, you're not supposed to just wipe your face with a face wipe. You're supposed to remove your makeup with a face wipe and then wash it afterwards. I'm sorry, that's too many steps for me because I'm lazy, especially at night when I want to just take my makeup off and be done. And this does it for me. It takes off your makeup and it cleans your skin and they smell really good and it doesn't leave like a weird residue because I've tried other face wipes and it's like after you're done you do feel like you need to wash your face afterwards because you have like a weird residue those are super awesome so what is next how about coconut oil <laughs> And I lost the lid, so um, I had to put tin foil on it. And yes, I am ghetto. Um, and yes, I do use coconut oil as a beauty product. This stuff is fantastic. You can use it as an eye makeup remover, a moisturizer, and a hair treatment. I left it in my hair overnight, and then you just wash it in the morning. And it makes your hair super soft. It makes your skin super soft. And this is um, virgin fresh, fresh pressed virgin coconut oil. So it's like the highest purity that you can get. So you're not putting a bunch of crud on your skin. So if you've never tried coconut oil as a beauty product, I would highly recommend that you do. And then, okay, these are a newer favorite of mine. Um, especially in the summertime I just discovered these um, they are made by BAN and they're cooling body cloths and it has powder silk technology and these are awesome I know I said everything is awesome but that's because they're my favorites so of course I think they're awesome um, but these um, they really do cool you down they have like some kind of cooling property and then when it dries it feels powdery on your skin so again there's no like weird residue or something um, and I use these because it's hotter than balls here in the summertime um, like the past several days have been almost 100 degrees and we're in the middle of September and sometimes we have to go to our um, our little shed at work where we keep all our old files and even if you go early in the morning that shed is hotter than balls so I keep these at work actually and when I get back from being outside <laughs> I go in the bathroom and I take off my shirt and I freaking wipe these all over myself and I feel human again so yeah if you're Whoa, can't even talk. If you live in a warm climate or, you know, you work outside sometimes or whatever, these are very refreshing and I would recommend them. And so I guess I was done talking about hair stuff, but we're coming back to hair. This is made by Conair and I've had this for quite a few years, but this is a combo um, hair dryer and straightener. With my hair, it doesn't completely straighten it. If I want it to be stick straight, I still have to go over it with a flat iron. But um, this 
will dry your hair really quickly um, and it combs through it and dries it and it has um, ceramic little inserts in it which helps control frizz which is super important for me because I am like Captain Caveman if I don't control the frizz so um, this I've had for god I don't even know how many years quite a few more than five maybe ten I don't know I love it um, and my favorite nail stuff is Orly um, I also like OPI and China Glaze. They're really good high quality um, products that are used in salons. Um, but I found that Orly is my favorite. Um, just the way that it goes on. It goes on really evenly and it's very long lasting. Um, and they're cheaper than OPI. Um, at least where I shop. Usually the OPI where I shop is eight fifty and Orly is like six seventy five for one of these. So I think that's a very fair price for a a good high quality nail product. And then this is also by Orly, it's called Nail Trition and you put it on once or twice a day for a week and it helps your nails grow. Um and I also have a cuticle oil made by Orly but I can't find it and that disturbs me because that cuticle oil is the awesomest so I'm gonna have to find it or buy some more so this one is a very new favorite of mine and if you saw my uh, Fort Bragg shopping haul this was in it um, it's from a shop called Bella Mia in Fort Bragg, California. And they also have an Etsy shop. So if you're not in the Fort Bragg area, you can still get this stuff and have it shipped to your house. Uh, which I would highly recommend that you do. And which I am probably going to do <laughs> because this is the bomb diggity. This is the Shea Better Cream and I got lavender scent. Um, and oh god this smells so good this stuff is it's very thick but it um it soaks in right away so you don't have that heavy greasy feel um left on your skin it soaks in right away um and i actually used it on my tattoo and it like brightened up my tattoo so um, this stuff is the bomb diggity. It's mostly natural. It has shea butter, cocoa seed butter, um, blah blah blah, grapeseed oil, Japanese green tea leaf extract, vitamin C, vitamin A, um, and it's mostly natural. It does have some stuff in it that isn't, you know, totally natural. That's okay with me because it is the bomb so last but not least one of the best beauty products around is water Ooh. it's good for you it cleans out your insides it makes your outsides look good hydrates your skin hydrates your whole body and um, there's lots of scientific research about all the good things that water does for you. So um, if you're not drinking water, you should be drinking water because it's super good for you. So um, that's it for my favorite beauty products. I'd love to hear or um, see what your favorite beauty products are. And maybe uh, one of those will become one of my favorites. Thanks for watching. Bye.